One way to change a fraction into a decimal is by simply taking the numerator of a fraction and dividing it by its denominator. So let's take 2 24 for example. First we write the numerator of 2 underneath the division sign and the denominator of 24 on the outside. The numerator will always be written on the inside and there is no exception to this rule. Now notice that 24 cannot be divided into two wholes. So what we do is we write a decimal after the number 2 and write another decimal directly above that one and then add a 0. And now we proceed with our division. Now because 24 cannot be divided into 2 even one whole time, we write a 0 in the ones place directly above the number 2. And then we try to divide 24 into 20 even though it's really 2.0 we're going to pretend that it's just 20 for simplicity reasons. And 24 cannot be divided into 20, so we must put a 0 in the tenths place. Now because 24 cannot be divided into 20, we just add another 0, and then we pretend that's 200 even though it's really 2.00. 24 can be divided into 200 a total of 8 times, and the product of 8 and 24 is 192. So now let's subtract that product of 192 from 200 and we come up with a difference of 8. Because we still have a remainder, we simply add another 0 to our next place value which would be in the thousands place and drop that directly down to give us the number 80. Which is really 80 thousands but once again for simplicity reasons we're going to just pretend that that's the number 80. And 24 can be divided into 80 a total of 3 times. The product of 3 and 24 is 72, and the difference of 80 and 72 is 8. Now, as you can see, we still have a remainder. In this case, we're just going to round to the nearest hundreds place. Now, in the hundreds place is the number 8, and if we look next door, the number 3 is not large enough for us to round up, so we just keep the 8 as it is. So we're going to round this to 8 hundredths. Now, let's try another example we have the fraction 8 fortieths. The 8 should be written on the inside and the 40 on the outside. And then we proceed to write a decimal after the 8 and then a decimal directly above and then a 0. Now notice 40 can go into 80 a total of 2 times. Now even though we're really dividing 40 into 8.0 we're going to pretend that it's really 80. And 40 can be divided into 80 exactly 2 times. So in the tenths place we write a number 2 and the product of 2 and 40 is 80. And of course, 80 minus 80 is 0. So we are finished with this problem already, and the answer is 2 tenths. Let's try one last example. Let's take the fraction 3 eighths and set that up. Let's take the fraction 3 eighths and write the 3 underneath and the 8 on the outside. After the 3, we write our decimal and 1 directly above, and then add a 0 in the tenths place. 8 can go into 30 3 times, and 3 times 8 is 24. And the difference between 30 and 24 is 6. And because we have a remainder, we simply add a 0 in the next available place value, which is the hundreds place. Then we drop the 0 down, and we get the number 60. 8 can be divided into 60 a total of 7 times. Because 7 times 8 is 56, that is as close to 60 as we can get. And the difference between 60 and 56 is 4. We proceed to add another 0 in the thousands place and drop that straight down to get the number 40. 8 can be divided into 40 a total of 5 times. And 5 times 8 is exactly 40, leaving us with no remainder. So we would say 3 eighths written as a decimal is exactly 0 and 375 thousandths.